Hey everybody, we are at Wagner's uh, Crystal Farm Forest. It's amazing. We're on Mount Ida in um, Arkansas, and we're over here digging for quartz crystals. Um, we followed this trail from Oklahoma here to um, Mount Ida, Arkansas. And here's a peek of the mine that this part of the mine that we're working right now. And that's my lovely Lily. She and I used to work together at the Gemological Institute in Carlsbad, California, and ironically, we just happened to find each other <laughs> thanks to Facebook. Uh, Crystal capital of the world on the same day. Yay, we're having so much fun. And it, that one came from right here? Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, just right here. Um, cool. In fact, I mean, if I took five minutes to even break that open. I could find more and more of this. And while these pits may not look like anything special, there are two major high quality quartz deposits in the entire world. One being Brazil, Two, being Mount Ida. So this quartz vein is about 30 to 40 miles wide and extends from south of Little Rock all the way 170 miles west to Oklahoma. Ooh. Check that out. So what makes the Arkansas quartz different? Well, most of the high quality pieces are embedded into sandstone and it's a little bit more milky because it was formed um, about 250 million years ago in the Paleozoic era when the mountains were starting to form back together. And the specific crystals here at Mount Ida is known for being elongated, really clear, and having a vitreous um, luster to it, so it's kind of like a soft luster. Arkansas. All right. I hope you enjoyed our quick trip to the Wagner Quartz Crystal Mine. We have quite a few specimens from this trip for sale on our website at therootteal.com. And also, we plan on doing some group mining trips to Arkansas and beyond soon, so be sure to like and subscribe so you're the first to know.